Hey, Brian from Garage Mahal. Today I have an inverter gasless welding machine. So, uh, as you can tell, we'll actually be doing a display. I'll try to get some close ups to this. And let's open it up, see everything that we get inside, set it up, and make a quick weld. All right, so inside the box, that's your welder. Comes out, and you are basically almost ready to go. Let's get this foam stuff out of the way. Get that bag off that. Bunch of little goodies in here. All right, so I've got your extension cords, your welding cords. It does come with a welding mask. Uh, I'm not going to set that up. I'm going to use my own, but just to let you know it does come with one. So nice compact little machine. I'm used to a lot bigger size. So let's see how well these little guys work. All right. So that is your electrical cord. It's a 110, 120 volts. This is your compartment, and this is where we're going to be feeding our wire through. So it does come with a some wire. Yeah, I don't know if you heard that. Vacuum sealed, pretty cool. So I got that open. Let's get our cables out. And I'll bring you on this side and we'll give you a closer up view of that and the welding process, just so you can see everything. So again, these are your cables. Oh, it's actually a dual purpose. You can make and stick weld with this. It's really cool. That's actually pretty, pretty awesome. So this is your MIG welding part. Man, that's actually, all right. So we'll do, uh, we'll do two welding demonstrations with this. Very awesome. All in this compact little unit. That's great. Okay, so here is your wig, MIG weld attachment. Goes in on this side. And that twists and locks in place. Very cool. And then that is your little cord part that hooks up to this. Very cool. Okay, so Let's switch everything around. We'll get more of a viewpoint from this side. All right, I'm gonna do my best not to get in the way here. But so that is where you're gonna put your wire through. This is where you put your spool on. So let's get that off. And it does have a spring on it, so be careful. Put that off on the side. And then let's get this unwrapped. Then this is, holds the wire down. We're gonna use our wire cutter to carefully cut that. All right, and then we'll get this, this piece out of the way. Now at this point, this is like where it likes to Flip out, so be very careful. And let's get this mounted through here, like this. And we are going to carefully start feeding this wire through here. And then just to kind of get some of that fed through there. 
then I'm going to put my hands around this, put this back together. spring kind of get that now you are going to get some spring back on this unfortunately but that's kind of just how these things work so let's get that fit in there a little bit more and So I don't know if you can see, there's a wheel here. Then there's a tension part here that comes down. So you want to feed this through. And then there is a little piece right here that you're going to try to get it fed into. Which is easier said than done sometimes. There we go, feeding that in there. And then we'll push that down. Then we'll tighten that down. Let's plug this in. Turn the power switch on. And then we got a couple choices here. So that's your handle. So we are going to turn it to a MIG, which it looks like this is your selection switch that's on here. So let's get it. Okay, so Make sure that this is basically set in this position so then you can uh, start feeding that through. Okay, so the wire's through. So uh, okay, so let's uh, let's get welded. All right, again, I'm not the greatest welder, but it does weld. So let's, uh, let's try the stick weld part of the machine. Okay, and uh, here we go for the uh, stick welding. <laughs> 